So at the moment, when we um, have a keyword down, we uh, look for it. In fact, let's change this to um, search text. It's a lot better. So um, when we uh, press a key down, we uh, run this function here that we've just created. And what it will do is it will take the um, the value of the uh, or the HTML output from search.ink.php and put it into the results div. So we can simply test this just by going into search.ink.php and echoing something out. So let's give it a test. Let's uh, run on our page. Okay, so hopefully when I press type a key down, uh, we should have the value um, something uh, read back to us into that results div. So let's test it. Okay, it's not working. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, it's working. So when we press, uh, let's refresh the page and we'll just test that again. So when we click in here and type something, we're now loading the data from this uh, search.ink.php. Okay, so we've done everything we need to with regards to this for now. We're going to come back to it a bit later because what we need to do is we need to be sending um, the value that's currently in the text box in the search.txt here. We need to be sending this consistently every time we type to this search.ink.php. So first of all, we're going to we're going to write some code inside uh, search.ink.php, um, and what we're going to do is we're basically going to return to the user what they're already typing. So we're going to test out every time they press a key, we're going to repeat it back to them inside this div, uh, much the same as when we did echo something. So this is pretty simple. We just need to come down here and we need to say if is set dollar underscore get and um, we're going to call this um, we'll call this search underscore text so if this is set we want to say search text equals dollar underscore get search text so let's echo that out now on its own if we were to access this search.ink.php file um, let's uh, just do that now so search.ink.php okay so we've entered this file there's nothing come up at the moment but now if we specify in here search text equals let's say Alex you'll see that that's written back to us on the page so what's going to happen is every time the user enters a character this um, URL is going to be accessed but via Ajax and we're going to put we're going to put um, the value uh, into it so let's say the user types an A the first round the uh, the page will be submitted like this then it will be submitted like this then it will be submitted like this and then lastly it will be submitted like this so that's what's going to happen every time we press a key on our keyboard so let's go back to um, index.php okay so now what we want to do in here is we want to um, oh well, no we've done this now so we're echoing each um, each value that we're grabbing from this search text now what we need to do in here is we need to dynamically update this to be sent through to our PHP um, file search.ink.php so what we need to do is on here specify search underscore text equals something so now we're going to press we're now going to have a plus so we're going to append on something from our page now what we want to append on from our page is the current value inside this text field so let's go ahead and type document dot and we're referencing it from our form so our form is called search dot and then it's search underscore text so search underscore text and then we say dot value so what we're doing now is every time we on key down we're running this function but now what we're doing is we're accessing search.ink.php search underscore text equals and the current value that's typed in so now what should happen is we're returning in results every time we press a key the current value of the text field so basically like I said before we're repeating this to the user so let's go back to our page and test this out I'm gonna to start to type my name okay Right, okay, so this is what I wanted to happen. We have a problem here where we're only echoing out the, th the three characters. So why is this? Well, let's return back to our page and think about this carefully. On key down equals find match. What we actually want, uh, let's come and refresh again to make sure this is correct. Don't want to... Uh, yeah okay so on key down instead we want on key up because when the key is up 
uh, we want to be uh, repeating this value so a l e x okay so you can see that now we're deleting it rewriting it in I can type anything I want in here uh, so anything I type in here is just going to be simply repeated so you can see how we can use this to our advantage because now what we can do inside search.ink.php is we can create a structured query that will search the database for the current value being typed in here and that's going to uh, do a query for every time we enter a key so it is going to significantly slow down um, our web page or our server load is going to be quite increased if you like um, but I'll give you a couple of tips on how to uh, increase the um, inc how to uh, stop this um, inside uh, search.ink.php so we're going to be connecting to our database so again what ha what's going to happen is the value is going to be um, well everything in this page is going to be completely repetitively um, accessed so we're connecting inside here to our database um, so so we're just constantly connecting and everything like that so um, We'll go ahead and do it anyway because this is just for the purposes of the tutorial. Um, the main goal is to get this to work first of all, and then obviously the research comes later on how how to speed up your uh, code. So let's just quickly connect to our um, MySQL server. We need three uh, properties. If you don't already know how to do this, there's another tutorial on it. So go back and watch that. Um, I have created a tutorial on connecting to databases, etc., etc. So um, I should have probably mentioned it at the start, but you should be comfortable um, with databases before attempting uh, this tutorial. So let's go connect to localhost. Uh, my username is root and I don't actually have a password so we're not going to bother with any error messages right now um, but uh, but you could probably put some validation in here in fact let's do let's do this so if uh, mysql connect uh, then we come down here um, so if this connection is successful basically let's put an at sign there so we don't get any any errors returned if it's not successful uh, then we want to say if uh, mysql select db uh, our database if you remember let's just go back to our uh, php my admin is called ajax so uh, put the database name that you're using in there uh, so if um, if that's connected then we do something here so uh, we've connected to our database let's go and grab this and put this at the top of the page um, so we're grabbing the first thing we're doing is we're grabbing the search text that's being typed and then what we're doing is we're putting it into a variable called search underscore text 